And then here's the other place. Maybe there was one for each cabin. Temperature and everything. Oil level, the temperature, the volts. What's up guys and welcome to today's video. It's actually my last day in Alaska and I actually found something perfect right before we left. And it's a place to explore. And you know I love exploring. So I worked out perfect. There's actually an abandoned I don't even know what it is. It's like there's three houses and then there's a shack or whatever. So I'm actually gonna go see what it is. Go see if I can get inside and stuff. And maybe we can do a nice cool video of exploring some stuff in Alaska. But anyways, let's start today's video and I'll see you guys walking towards the place because it's about a five minute walk. This looks like a good place for the guy that was hitchhiking to sleep. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. He got lost. It does? Yeah. I guess that could have been where the bed was at. Yeah. And then have a little stairs or a rope or whatever to get over there. There's a stove pipe. Kind of weird. This table, electricity there switches and then there's the lights up there there's like three of these places this is a little bit more difficult to get to whoa what the heck is with the ceiling this one got colors set yeah little brick looking Here's a nice bay window to see the nature. Yeah. I don't know what kind of nature it is. Just flowers. Yeah, inside here, the carpet is like... Wall-to-wall -wall carpet. That carpet looks new. Guess that was the original color and then it's all faded. And then there's a couple places up there too. What I think this was is like an old hotel or like a cabin area. And what you do is you check in up there and then you'd stay in these three little places here. They're not very big, but that's where you stay. And they hurt. This one's got seats in it. I guess that was the only one with a loft, wasn't it? Those are just loose. There's like these or seats. I guess the one at the top is like a show one. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And then they all have this little stove thing. Oh, something just flew out of it. It's a pretty cool little place. And I think there's something over there too, isn't there? Those birds sound like alarms. It looked like a tin roof, but I don't see where it is. Oh, it's right there. Did it like fall in? Oh, there it is. Crazy brush. You can tell nobody comes over here. Let's see if we can get it from the end. It's like a bunker? I don't know. Where are those 
Gonna walk that way. Those birds are so loud. There's more of those seats. It's a box spring. These are a bunch of mattress stuff that people look like they came in here and burned. Looks like a trailer. It's definitely something I think that's fell. I don't think so. Yeah, it's, it's that gravel right there. At the bottom of it. Ugh. Nice place for a bear or something to live. So this might have been like another little place? Well, it was probably like a barn, uh, a pole barn, and it might have fell over. Oh. And there's pieces of the roof everywhere. Get into something like poison ivy. Up here is like the, uh, we're walking up the hill here and this is like a, a really main road right here because a lot of people are driving on it. And it looks like that was maybe the office. I mean, there's the place there. And it's starting to rain. But that looks like the office up there and then maybe they check people in and then they send them down this little road here. But it's kind of strange how there's only like uh, four buildings and maybe like a little pole barn or something like that, whatever it's called. And right up here's the, the thing. Here's a little upper place, little upper cabin kind of area. Looks like they have studio lights up there. And this is where the window was that people busted out and stuff. Looks like there's nice skylights and a, a door there. That truck that was here earlier though, this door was open. It was? Yes. And now it's locked. So maybe somebody checks this area? Probably checked there before. And then here's the other place. It's actually the only really place that I've seen where there's a private property picture or sign. Real estate. Wow, what is that? Like a generator? Yep. This is like the generator room. There's two or three of them. Maybe there was one for each cabin? No, that's not for a cabin. That's for something crazy. Like pumping water up the stream or... Day tank. Yeah, I need my light. Looks like the people were working in here and then they'd watch, stayed here, watch this generator. But see where the power comes out of the generator is just cut off right Cut off, there. yeah. Was it used to go into there and it's down? It's cut off right there too. Shows the temperature and everything. Oil level, the temperature, the volts. A belt here. Shotgun shells. May feel real good. A helmet.
What does that say? Um, Extension cord. Maybe the building next to it is like the outhouse that they had for this place. This is a world class marine generator. So it probably is for pumping water? I think it's just for power up here in these mountains when the power would go out. For all of these mountains over here? For all this area, yeah. Wow. I mean, this would do a lot. You think it used the water from the stream or something no. to do it? No. Beer bottles down there. John Deere. It says a serial number on it. And MT right there are Cummings. And this is a John Deere. Here's a bunch of dates. Oh seven. 07, 05, so 07 was the last date. So it's been 12 years. Something to do with gallons. Well, that's probably how many gallons of fuel they've used or something. But it, it ain't been used in 12 years. That's crazy. Some weird juice in there. And then some old lights. So the fuel tanks are over here, and that looks like a sink to me. Wow. Anchorage tank, 1,000 gallons. So is that 2,000 gallons there? Yeah, 2,000 gallons of fuel. So you don't think this has anything to do with that? That's just where the people stayed that might have... Ran, ran this? Ran this... generating facility. There's nothing up here. That just goes back into the room that we were just in. There's a bunch of people right there that just watched us walk out. I think this is a little bathroom area or something. There's extension cords there. Oh, the floor. I don't know what this was. Here's a spark plug. Some other engine stuff. Yeah. So this might have just been like a shed. Just a shed, yeah. With lights in it and skylight and stuff. All them things empty. Used Nor oil or hub oil. This one's not empty. Neither is that. There's extension cords here and everything. That was actually pretty cool. It looked like there was a generator there and it was for powering this area around here in the mountains for maybe lights or whatever, but it doesn't look like it's working anymore. That's what the main building was and we actually think that the buildings that were way back behind were actually for the employees that worked at the generator so they didn't have to go far away or whatever, or they have a place to stay once it's cold or it's winter here and they can't leave or it's too far or it's unsafe to get here. But it actually, it was a pretty cool place. We got it, the buildings weren't really that big and they were, they had a weird paint schemes. But it was a pretty cool place and then the generator up there and then the place next door, I think that was actually where they may, maybe like the office was or whatever. And then the generator next door was obviously the generator and where they, they had marking on the walls to how much gas they had. And then the shack that was over to the left or the right or whatever we were at um, was actually where they just had parts at and oil and all that and maybe some parts for generators, and I don't know. I don't know what generators take. But anyways, it was a really cool place to explore. 
I hope you enjoyed today's video, and if you want to see more of my life and more what I do, more exploring, hit the subscribe button. It's not hard. It only takes a couple seconds. I love you guys, and this is my last video in Alaska. I love you guys. See you next video, and peace out.